an imbecile. If you try to make it physical, you end up critical. Huh, huh. Think it's subliminal, nigga. You not no criminal. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. No need to set up my little studio and lights and all that stuff. I do got one light here. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the projector is still on. And I didn't quite finish the new Kevin Hart special reality check. It's 59 minutes long. I made it 15 minutes into it. And this was me. I'm trying to choose my words carefully here because I don't... Listen, Kevin Hart's winning in life. He's doing good. He's making... Millions and millions of dollars. Very successful brother. And I'm proud of him. But I think as a comedian, the worst thing that can happen to you is that you become super rich and super wealthy. I heard Jimmy Fox said that he was afraid of having a lot of stuff, having a very comfortable life because then he'll no longer be funny. What is it to talk about? I didn't make it through this stand up, y'all. And those that made it through it and found it funny, God bless. I watched some Peacock, and I tried. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if I have a Kevin Hart review on here that I actually gave praise to. The Kevin Hart that I remember that I thought was dope was seriously funny Kevin Hart. And I'm a grown little man, Kevin Hart. And even laughing my pain, Kevin Hart gave me some laughs. He just gets in there and talks about random shit. That's how you know he has nothing really to talk about. That's funny. He's talking about random shit like, uh, what, what are you talking about? Uh, about somebody sticking their dick in a soup in, at, at Denny's. Something about, uh, it, was, it was some animal joke, man. I, I checked out, y'all. I dozed off. And mind you, it's not because I'm tired from a long day. I'm fresh. I just got up about an hour or so ago. I'm about to go see Insidious in a minute. But I just had to get on here and give my quick two cents. I think Kevin Hart needs to have a Rocky Three moment and go back to the beginning, go back to the roots, go probably live in, live in poverty for a little bit again. Have some experiences that will, I don't know, bring out better jokes. This is probably why Eddie Murphy, I know you see the white cup in the background. Hey, don't worry about what's in my cup. Fuck you. Eddie Murphy, I think, walked away from comedy because at this point he's a megastar. He don't need to get on stage and talk about his problems anymore and his pain. He has no pain. He rich. I'm rich, bitch. Dave Chappelle probably the only nigga that's worth over millions of dollars that can still be funny. Because Dave Chappelle is still kind of connected to reality. Kevin Hart talks about raccoons grabbing a dick and disappearing into the dark. And people in the crowd, oh, <laughs> the raccoon disappeared into the dark. <laughs> and Kevin Hart, the raccoon grabbed his dick and disappeared into the dark. I know they say if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, right? Kevin Hart is a funny man. Okay, his social media is funny. When he goes on different podcasts, when he's interacting with The Rock, he's hilarious. For some reason, his stand-up doesn't resonate anymore. Or am I tripping? Reality Check was... I, I, I didn't finish it. I couldn't finish it. I want to throw tomatoes at the screen. I'm done.